So once we're ready to shut down, uh, we're gonna go through the shutdown procedure, which is on the other side of the startup procedure. So the first step is we're going to clean all objectives if used. Uh, that doesn't apply today, and all of you know how to clean all objectives, so I'm not gonna go over that. Uh, step number two is a new step. We're gonna switch to the 10X objective. So we're going to do this uh, because I think it will help preserve the objectives in the long run. So we're just gonna switch it here if we're not already on the 10X. The next step is we're going to exit Zen. We do that in the top right-hand corner, just like you exit any software. The next step is we're gonna to connect to the server, connect, uh, copy their files over to the server and disconnect from the server. Um, so we're gonna do that by going to this PC and following essentially the instructions there. Uh, we can click on this map network drive. Uh, that will give us the option of selecting a server. You can use the MSL server or a lab server, uh, open that server up, um, copy your data, which will be in data D in user data and there's also a quick access button there. So just copy whatever you uh, data you generated to the server, then uh, disconnect from the server. Uh, and then you're gonna check the calendar to see if anyone's booked within the next two hours. So this is exactly the same as what we were doing with the 700. You're gonna check the calendar by double clicking on Google Chrome. Um, when you do that, the calendar will pop up. I, I don't have the calendar yet uh, configured, but by the time that you come to the system, that will be the case. Um, so you're gonna check whether someone is booked within the next two hours. If the answer is yes, you're gonna log out of the kiosk and you're gonna be done. If the answer is no, we're gonna do these other things. So we're gonna log off the computer, but we're not gonna shut down the computer. So um, to log off without shutting down, we go here, we click on uh, Lupin's face and we just say sign out. Then we're gonna turn off the component switch, which is switch number three, that's over here. The next step is gonna to be to turn off the system switch, that's number two. The next step is gonna to be to turn off the excite lamp and turn the intensity dial down. I actually already did this because I, I turned it off in an incorrect way. Um, so I can't do that because it's already off, but I'll show you where that is. So this, you can see it's off, but if it were on, you would hit this switch so it's on the zero position, and then you lower this intensity dial, which has already been done. As I said, I made a mistake in a previous video. Um, then you're gonna cover the microscope stand, the cover, the dust cover will be somewhere in this room as it was before, and you're going to log off from the kiosk. Um, that concludes the, uh, the retraining uh, video. Um, uh, each of you will need to have an in-person retraining session. Um, and please let me know if you have any questions. There will be other videos that will be uh, for more advanced functionality or for just an in-depth explanation of things that um, you should already know from your initial training on the 700 or 710. But as always, if something is confusing or you wanna do something new, just let me know and I will help you out.